So we have a quadratic equation and we're being asked to solve it. Let's go ahead and do this using the quadratic formula, so solution. So the first step to using the quadratic formula is to identify a, b, and c. So this number here is a, this one is b, and this one is c. So this will be a, b, c. So let's write them down. So a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 3, and c is equal to 1. Then you usually write down the formula. Now when you're first learning to use the quadratic formula, it's probably a good idea to write it down every single time. So it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So x is equal to, well let's see, we want negative b, but b is negative 3. So this part here will be 3 plus or minus the square root, b is negative 3, we're squaring it so we get 9 minus 4, and I have a habit of never skipping any steps here because I always mess up. So 4, a is 2, and c is 1. And it's all being divided by 2a, so 2 times 2. So x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root 4 times 2 times 1, that's 8, so 9 minus 8, all divided by 4. Let's keep going. So x is equal to 3 plus or minus, 9 minus 8 is 1, so we get the square root of 1 over 4. So x is equal to 3 plus or minus 1 over 4. Now, in this case, we do have to keep going because we can, right? If we had gotten something like 3 plus or minus the square root of 17 over 8, we would have been done. But we didn't. Um, we got 1, so we can actually add these numbers. So x equals, let's do the plus case first. So 3 plus 1 over 4, which is 4 over 4, which is 1. So there is one answer. And now let's do the minus case. x equals 3 minus 1 over 4. So 2 over 4, which is equal to 1 half. And that is the other answer. I hope this helps.